Hey, it's me, your friendly neighborhood diamond, and I'm back at it again with another creepy pasta. The series where I read the scariest stories on the world wide web. The creepiest, spookiest, scariest stories are going to be told on this channel here today. And what we have is Courage, the Cowardly Dog, long awaited cartoon show that. Honestly, it's already creepy alone. Courage the Cowardly Dog is like a weird show. And if you've, you've seen it, then you know what I'm talking about. But if you haven't seen it, let me give you a little summary. And this is coming straight out of Wikipedia. Super reliable source, Diamond. Thank you so much for your awesome quality videos. You're welcome. Courage is a timid pink dog with paranoia problems. His owners are an old couple living on a farm full of bizarre adversaries. Courage must overcome his fear and help out his owners. Um, I'm going to butcher the names, but uh, Ustace and Muriel, hopefully I got that right, from ghosts and paranormal spirits living on the farm. Although Muriel loves courage, Ustace loves to tease him and scare him. And also, uh, by tease, what they mean is like super duper mean uh, comments towards the dog. And it's it, it really sucks and it's super creepy. But yeah, you heard it. There's ghosts on the farm and that must be why it's a scary show. We're going to get into this, all right? So I, I, before I cue the intro, slow down. I want you guys to leave a like on this video. Comment what you think about this story, this episode, and what you want to see in the future. Because guess what? I'm doing creepypastas, story time, everything. I'm doing it 100% all the way through 2020. All the way, dude. Three videos every week. Four, make that four videos. There you go. Bonus video. Four videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe and leave a like and do all that good stuff because the YouTube algorithm is really, really, really against me. This honestly for the last three years. So yeah, thank you so much. Cue the intro. It was just a normal Tuesday night. I just finished showering, ate dinner, did school homework, and got ready for bed. So normally I stayed up at night, late. My parents didn't even care I had insomnia. Nothing good was on, so I switched to Cartoon Network because usually it amuses me, even if the shows suck, Teen Titans Go, etc. <laughs> well, when I turned to it, Scooby-Doo just finished and was on the credits. Then it said Courage the Cowardly Dog was coming up next. I'm like, okay, great. My favorite show. I gotta watch this. So when the show came on, it was a bit off. The title and all came on okay, but after the theme song ended, it cut to black for like five minutes. Typical of every creepypasta. I tried to switch channels, but I noticed the batteries to the remote were dead, and I was too cozy in my bed to change them. So I just sat there, looking at the blank black screen for five minutes until the show came on. Finally, it came on, but then it just showed Courage staring lifelessly into the screen like he was looking at me. His eyes were red, like just plain red. No pupil or iris or anything. Or iris. My bad, guys. <laughs> just effing red. It creeped me out for a minute, but I thought to myself, it's okay. I mean, the show was always weird. I'm glad he agrees. So I thought it was fine, you know? But it wasn't. I had a lamp turned on. But then, it turned off. I checked the plug. It was in. I checked the bulbs. They were new. I checked the house. There was no shortage. Okay, so this guy's in the comfort of his bed, but he decided to check the house to see if there was a shortage. What a boss. Okay, what a boss. He, 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 he doesn't want to change the channel. Or use the control, but he, 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 he can get up to go check the light bulb in the house if it had a shortage. I don't get this. <laughs> so, I'm like, screw it. I'll just watch the damn show. So, as I continued watching, Courage stopped staring at the screen and then began walking down this road that seemed to lead to nowhere. And he was holding a bloody knife. I was like, what the hell? He was walking for about a minute. During that minute, music played like it sounded it, like it should have been in Silent Hill or something. And then Satan came out of a portal and stabbed Courage in the brain. Oh my god. Then it all went staticky for a bit. Courage then started walking to his house. But the entire house was pitch black. Like it, like it was in a fire and there was just all ash. He opened the ashy door that creaked slowly. Startled, I tried to turn the volume down on the TV, but it didn't work. 
So all I could do was just cover my ears. It finally stopped. Courage started to walk into the house. It was dark inside. He flipped the switch and the lights flickered on. He was in the living room. I saw that Muriel and Ustace were just sitting there in their normal spots doing nothing. But they had fish-like eyes and they were wide open like as if they were on drugs. Muriel in some distorted voice said, Hello, Courage. What, what a nice dog. And got up out of her seat, walked up to him and started petting him. Ustace said nothing for about 10 seconds, then under his breath mumbled, Stupid dog and cursed some words in a whisper to himself. He sat there for about 20 seconds, staring at poor Courage. Then Muriel took out her rolling pin, thingy that you see on the normal episode, and started beating Ustace mercilessly. She was just hitting him to the point where you hear him screaming in pain. Then blood started to gush out. I kind of started to tear up a bit. It was sad. Even though he was never my favorite, the screams and cry for help was just... It just sounded way too real. Muriel shouted, Die, you bastard! Go to hell, where you belong! She said it in that distorted voice again. It was freaking me out. Courage just stood there, still holding the bloody knife. I don't know what he was thinking, but I could tell it was just evil. He started to say some words in, in, in a language I didn't understand, like a special language. Muriel then stopped beating Ustace. Ustace was just still alive, but was beaten up pretty badly. He seemed like he had internal bleeding from the way he was coughing out blood, and blood was coming out of his eyes. Holy moly. Muriel looks at Courage. Some music played. Again, it sounded like something out of Silent Hill. Courage went up to Muriel and slit her throat. Wait a second. I, I was just sitting in my bed, looking at my TV in disgust and in disbelief. I couldn't believe it. Courage started dragging Muriel into Stace's bodies and puts them in the basement where you see a lot of other dead bodies. He throws the two bodies into the pile of decaying bodies. He then draws the pentagram around the pile of the bodies and he then grabs gasoline, a lighter, and lights the pile of bodies on fire and says, You belong in hell. Let Satan be with you all. All hell Satan. All hell Satan. Satan is our leader. But why? He said it in a loud, deep, distorted voice. It scared the out of me. Courage then jumped into the fire and screamed in pain from the fire burning his flesh. Blood and fire was going everywhere. Then the house burned to the ground, down to ashes. A tropical storm hit, and everything that was a part of the house, bits of broken glass from the windows, pieces of wood, etc., was swept away by the water and wind and to in, and went into the ground or was thrown across a deserted land when the storm finally stopped the entire house was gone everything like nothing ever happened then the credits played they weren't normal credits the music sounded like a six-year-old was banging the piano and the violin that was in it was very scratchy uh, question mark question mark question mark and then all i heard from the tv was static screaming and then laughing like you were hearing hell itself very, very descriptive. I like it. The only words that the credits said were made by Lucifer. The show was finally over and a normal episode of Chowder came on. Jeez, that was crazy. Uh, and just a normal episode of Chowder just gets on after that. Come on, dude. I started sobbing hysterically from being traumatized. I mean, was this some sick joke? Because it wasn't funny. Who knows what kid saw this? Parents even or uh, who, who, I don't know, but just who witnessed this? Like, wow, just wow. I'm an atheist and I don't believe in devils, angels, God, Satan, heaven or hell, but I'm questioning my own beliefs now. Okay, look, I, I'm not I'm not the one who said I'm an atheist. Okay, it's it's the story I'm reading. Okay, um, yeah, just, you know, Diamond is, is, is not claiming what he believes in. Okay, uh, anyways, I called Cartoon Network the next day, questioning them about this. They said that they don't remember playing that. In fact, Courage the Cowardly Dog wasn't even playing at the time. It was Adventure Time. I was stunned. I would then go on to just do enough research questioning the network to the point I just couldn't get any answer. It was like the episode was meant for me only. I got very nauseous just thinking about it. So far, nothing has happened yet. And I'm just praying that nothing does and this was just all a dream and uh, I will never think of this show the same way again though. 
The episode came from hell. Here's an update. The episode just aired again, and I'm going to end my life. I can't stand the pain this episode brought me. If my parents are reading this, sorry, I have to do this. Goodbye, world. And I'm died now. And you uh, can't stop me from saying you're next. Be right. 666. The end. Um, <laughs> Wow. That ending, he lost his grammar and spelling skills. He just completely lost it. Um. Uh, yeah, I mean, this this video is cursed, guys. There's just, we said the words, the 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 devil's name too many times, and we used the three numbers uh, twice, I think. And this this video is cursed. So leave a like and and comment to uh, break the curse of this video. And uh, right now, I'm gonna give you guys my review. Okay. What do I think about this uh, scary creepypasta lost episode of Courage the Cowardly Dog that I found on fandom.com? And I don't even know the author's name. Where's the author's name? Uh, it doesn't say. It doesn't say who made this. All right, right. I, I don't know. It doesn't really say who made it. But, uh, you know, I'm just going to give my review. This gets a, 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 a 8.5 out of 10. Okay. An 8.5 out of 10 because, oh, God, this was really good. And I, I can actually believe this is I know I know that and it's probably it's probably fake. It's definitely going to be fake. But I, if this was real life and someone actually told me this happened, like on a serious level, like I would actually believe it because Courage the Cowardly Dog is that weird, weird show that they would definitely do something crazy like this just to spook us, just to scare us out of our pants, out of our underwears. If you pee your pants, make sure you leave a like on this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Diamond signing out. See ya.